welcome to the fourth episode of the solo travel guide guys where i give you tips and share my experience after solo traveling working and living in different countries for the last decade if you're watching this video you might want to start to solo travel but there might be something stopping you from doing it in the previous episodes, we have already spoken about the advantages of solo travel, how to overcome the fear of solo travel, and possible destination ideas for your first solo travel. So in this episode, guys, we are going to speak about when you should solo travel. Let's go! In this video specifically, guys, I'm going to cover two points, basically. When you should solo travel age-wise and also time-wise. So let's start with the first one. First of all, guys, let me know how old you are in the comments. I don't know your age. I am 21. And I actually started to solo travel when I was 18 years old. Now, the good thing that I see on social media about solo travel in general is that there are people of any age, of all ages who actually solo travel which is very good it's actually really encouraging for other people because there is no limit of course guys age can be a limit when you are under age so in most country guys you become legally an adult when you turn 18 years old i cannot speak for every single country of the world but let's keep this baseline as an example throughout this video now guys when you are 18 so legally you are an adult you basically have full responsibility for yourself and you don't need anyone else to sign or let you do things like for example your parents so this could stop some people from starting to solo travel not to worry too much though because you can even start before that to warm up the solo travel muscle if you are watching this video guys and you are under age don't worry there is still an option for you of course you know that in this situation usually most of the times parents or relatives or even friends can be your limit and that's normal right you are still very young so they might be scared of you going by yourself abroad somewhere where you don't know anyone somewhere where you've not been before where you don't speak the language and that is completely normal guys because they love you at the end of the day and they want to protect you the very first time i solo traveled i was 18 my mom was really happy she 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 was different my dad was not happy at all but being 18 at the time i could choose for myself so it couldn't actually stop me when at 19 years old i left italy to go to london he was really upset really upset guys to the point that he actually bribed me yes he actually didn't said if you stay here i will pay for your university but i could do what i wanted because again i was over the age of 18 years old I mean, even my friends were worried about me going by myself and living in a different country. They were actually asking the so famous question, aren't you afraid to go by yourself? So the option I suggest for people who are underage and still want to solo travel, guys, as I mentioned in previous videos, is that you should travel alone in your home country. This is because it's much easier, as I said, no culture uh, shock, uh, language barrier, anything like that. And I'm sure your parents will be more willing to let you go to another city by yourself than abroad. Of course, guys, when you get to the age that you are 18, you are responsible for yourself and you have the money, of course, because you shouldn't ask your parents for money for something they don't want you to do then you should go and explore and do your thing. Of course, guys, please note that with this video, I don't want you to go against your parents, create any argument, disagreement between the two. You decide for yourself. I was in that situation, so some of my family was not really happy about me leaving. Some others were really happy. So I know it can be difficult, it can be a struggle. So take advantage of what you can do and what you have available to you until you reach that kind of like freedom age. <laughs> there can be another kind of issue guys because even if you are 18 you might be still living with your parents even when you are up to 20, 21, 25 you know everyone is different so even then there could be some kind of like maybe friction between you and them regarding the decision especially I would say when you are 18, 19, 20 but again guys if you have the money and you can do it by yourself then just make sure you are you keep yourself safe and you are responsible because when you show them that you can do it you are responsible you don't get into trouble also for them it will be easier to actually kind of like expand and agree on the idea that 
you can go and travel by yourself. Of course, guys, if you are 18 or above, you can just go, so you just need the confidence to go and explore by yourself this beautiful world we live in. On the other side, guys, speaking about time-wise, I'm going to give you some ideas, a little push to get you to decide when you should go to travel by yourself throughout the year. Number one, guys, you should go and solo travel at the end of an important event in your life, something such as your graduation. What a better excuse, guys. Excuse. I mean, this is the perfect situation because you are at the end of a process, usually a long process during which you made sacrifices. And what a better way to finish it with a celebration. Celebrate yourself by solo traveling. Honestly, guys, sometimes even for the little things, I'm going to say, well, you know, I don't really celebrate much with birthday parties and things like that. So whenever I can, I just play the card of the solo travel and there you go. Idea number two, guys, which is actually my favorite, your birthday. What's a better way to celebrate the best day of the year when everyone is going to celebrate you and you go and solo travel for it? That's why I was never available for any birthday parties. People would be like, oh, are you going to celebrate? What are you going to do? And I was like, well, since it's my birthday, I'm going to get a present for myself, which is visiting a new country by myself. Of course, guys, you might think that this sounds counterinteractive because people usually want to celebrate with other people. But <laughs> it's also a very good way to celebrate by yourself. Of course, these guys... It's just an idea. If you prefer to spend your time with family and friends, that's completely fine. Although you should try it by yourself because you never know, it's fun anyway. And it's also some time specifically for yourself during which you might reflect and think about things. So it's not bad, okay? Even if it's your birthday and don't think about, oh my goodness, I will be there like, you know, with my cake and the candles and no one is going to sing happy birthday to me or anything like that. You can always go back home and celebrate it afterwards or before that. Or you can just use the excuse of your birthday to sort of travel and do both things. Idea number three, guys, is to go and sort of travel during low season. This is a very good way, especially for those of you who don't have a big amount of money, including me, I really don't have a very big budget usually to travel with, or are saving money. So if you have a job or a lifestyle that allows you to go during low season, you should definitely consider that because it's much cheaper, of course, and you still have a good time. Of course, guys, keep in mind your destination because it can be high or low season depending on where you go. Idea number three, guys, is bank holiday bridges, if I can call them that. Basically, guys, when you have a bank holiday of one day, close to the weekend for example you can actually take one extra day off from your job and go travel for a couple of days say for instance that you don't work on saturday and sunday and there is a bank holiday on tuesday take the monday off because you will have four days for a short trip i used to do this a lot because that allowed me to go to places in the country where i was which didn't need so many days but still a weekend wasn't enough this is great guys because it doesn't require a lot of effort okay you're not organizing you know a trip of one or two weeks okay it's just a short trip away and it's actually really nice because you can recharge yourself and you can stay by yourself be alone and kind of like focus on yourself this is actually a very good idea if you are starting out and again you don't want to be by yourself for too long two three days is actually good enough to have a feeling of what it means to be by yourself in a different place and how you can organize and juggle yourself idea number five is to solo travel when you need time for yourself it might happen in your life that you get too stressed or things are not going well and you just need to be in a different place by yourself focusing on yourself, thinking or reflecting on what's going on into your life. Traveling alone is a very good idea because you find yourself in a different place where no one knows you and you kind of have a more creative and fresh mind to think about you and your life. Of course, this can be a very good way to actually relax as well and recharge the batteries. And although the main purpose of the trip is not the actual solo travel itself, but actually spending time with yourself, it doesn't mean you don't have time to go and see and explore. And that actually is going to help you to relax your mind and kind of like get creative because you are in a new surrounding and in a new environment. 
Ah, the benefits of solo traveling guys i'm telling you i am telling you last idea guys number six is to actually go whenever you feel like and whenever you can and whenever you want to go okay there's no limits okay in terms of time you can go whenever you like these were just some ideas to give you a little push and this is the end of the fourth episode of the solo travel guide i hope you guys found it useful let me know down in the comments and let me know when you are planning to solo travel next do not forget to like this video and as always thank you very much for watching guys i do appreciate every single one of you and i will see you really soon in episode number five of this guide see you soon bye